was Veterans Day weekend. Starting in Fort Benning, Georgia, the president carried the admiration and gratitude of his people to the men and women of the armed forces. This is the 50th anniversary of 1966, and you can see in 1966, the tide began to turn around public sentiment about the Vietnam War. More and more Americans are questioning why we were in Vietnam to begin with. And so this gives us an opportunity to look back a half a century later in a more clear-eyed way uh, why we were in that war to begin with and what lessons we derived from it. LBJ was profoundly ambivalent about the war in Vietnam. The more I think of it, I don't know what in the hell. Uh, it looks like me we're getting into another Korea. It just worries the hell out of me. I don't see what we can ever hope to get out of there with once we're committed. The crown jewel of the LBJ Presidential Library archives are the taped phone conversations of Lyndon Johnson during the course of his tenure as president. And you can hear in some of those conversations his anguish over the war. He says very poignantly to McGeorge Bundy, his national security advisor in 1964, I don't think we can win, and I don't, I don't think, think we can get, get out. out. And it's just the biggest damn mess. It is. So. It's an awful mess. <laughs> I had 13 men when I came. And it's four days later now, and how many are still here? Six. Emergency medevac, ASAP. Chop through. He couldn't find a way out of the war, partly because of the pressure that he had to ensure that the communists did not triumph in Vietnam. When the first American soldiers went into South Vietnam in the early 1960s, it was because this nation saw that if the communist aggression succeeded, the entire region of Southeast Asia would be in mortal danger. Anti-war demonstrators protest U.S. involvement in the Vietnam War in mass marches, rallies, and demonstrations. There were anti-war protests on any given day that were staged outside of the White House with picketers chanting, hey, hey, LBJ, how many kids did you kill today? His credibility began to erode over time. That hurt his standing with the American people. We of the Kennedy and Johnson administrations who participated in the decisions on Vietnam acted according to what we thought were the principles and the traditions of this nation. Yet we were wrong. I believe, we're, <clears throat> I believe we were terribly wrong. We know now that Vietnam was a, a colossal failure. That was uh, not as easy to see when the war was playing out during the course of Johnson's tenure. Harry Truman used to say that the only thing new in the world is the history you don't know. This is an opportunity to look at history and take a lesson from it.